So after a long amount of um, issues, uh, let me lower the sound on the 3DS. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I don't see how that sound in the um, in the stream. That's rain. That staticish sound you hear in the back. That's rain. That's my brother. Turn it down too low. Well. All right, how's that? All right, yeah, I think that sounds good. So, yeah, we're finally here after dealing with microphone issues for almost an hour. Um, so yeah, hold on, we hit record because I also. I also record my streams, so let me make sure that's working. Just talk to the mic a little bit, make sure it's and it stop. I'm gonna check that, and then we'll get going. It won't be for long. It'll probably be for like 40 minutes. Um, so the layout. Um, I think I'm gonna wait till uh, till I can verify that this is working. So I did hear my voice. I think I might have cut off a little early, but okay. Start. So, recording's going. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Here we go. So, um, drag this over here a little closer. So, Pokemon Y, um, Pokemon Legends CA was announced in February of this year, and so I was like, before that. I had said that I would play a version on stream of one of the game that is associated with what got announced for Pokemon Day. It wasn't the two that I thought it would be, but it, I can actually play one related to it. Um, so that's where we are now. It's been a bit, most of that time we're waiting for the PC to get here and everything to get here. Um, and then honestly, I just didn't feel like streaming once it got here. It got here late May, it's almost been a month. Um, I wanted to get used to, to using it, and I also didn't feel like streaming, really, so, um, but yeah, it works well. The only issue I'm having now, really, is with the encoder, so I'll try to figure that out. But, um, yeah, and I even made this, uh, I even made this, um, this, uh, layout for it. I made this pretty much all of it. The only stuff that here that isn't what I made is um, the icons, uh, so the Pokemon Y logo, and the two ribbon slash mark icons for the Pokemon, I didn't make those, everything else, and obviously the game screen wasn't, but everything else that's here, uh, I made, and I have a, um, a version of it that um, I might trim because it's been going for 11 minutes, so I might trim the first part out. Um, but yeah, so... Um, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you all the, um, the uh, blank version. Um, so this is the blank version. Oh, that's what I was... Uh, let me see. Where is it? There it is. Found it. So yeah, this is the, this is the image, blank, it doesn't have anything else on it. Uh, it's supposed to riff on uh, the cartridge art. I think it has more beautiful painted mountains and stuff, 
but it is what I can do. So that's what we got. <clears throat> so yeah, um, if anyone does end up watching these, I'm not exactly sure on a time and date, but I do know it will be every week that this gets that this happens. Um, if anyone does show up, I do want to try to make it so that they have some input uh, into the stream, into the game. Um, by the way, chat's only there. I know no one watches this really, so I'm, that's only there to fill space. Because without it, there's I can hide it right now. There's this huge thing of space right here. And, um, you know, just, that just looks weird, so. I put, um, where'd it go? Yeah, the whole point was that I, uh, there we go. The whole point was that, um, yeah, so I just put that, I put that there in that section. <coughs> so, I can just, just start the game. Uh, I'll be going, I think, until around 1.30ish, 1.40. Um, so yeah. Let's just get into it. Now there is more to talk about with this layout. So obviously the Pokemon and badges are self-explanatory, but there's that box to the left. That is going to be for our character. I've decided our character in starters. If anyone comes in and start watching the other ones, like if I do this at a more reasonable time, uh, like earlier in the morning or later at night, or earlier at night and really early in the morning, um, um, they have, now, if I do that, they can, uh, they can go and put on what other Pokemon they have. So, for this stream, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do a new thumbnail for this So I'm making a thumbnail from the So the first three Pokemon games, Pokemon X, came out in 2013. Um, I didn't get this in the launch. In the launch. Um, I had just gotten stuck in it. Like I just become a part of the Pokemon community when this came out. Um, but when it was being announced, I didn't see much of it before. Uh, yes. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Okay. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Um, Augustine Sickle, Apology is a very young Pokemon with Fest Ball. Hey, Skeeter. The world of is widely inhabited by creatures and known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some are across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others just swim deep in the water. This one is a good we live together with these Pokemon, depending on traits one another, because they're impossible. Alright, let's just try to do some quick questions for you. Where are you? So, like I said, the character, face appearance, and the starter, I've decided already. Um, we're going with female. And we're going with this option. Now, name. Oof, I decided. So I want something with wide.
Oof. So before the uh something that a lot of these intros do the auto scrolling text it's if you're reading it in your head it's you can get through it but if you start reading it a lot it's it's a bird that's a song into the deep fryer with you Ah yes, the Pikachu for you is that is a good way to stay. It makes more sense when he has all of them. I didn't get the game itself until like May of the year after, so May of 2014. Around, I think it would have been that very month, May or April of 2014. So, I think we're going to launch through that same month, I believe, when my group of Sapphire got announced. I didn't know about that until later on in the summer. I, don't know. I actually did get them closer to launch, not in November, but I got Christmas present in December. In December. Okay, see, I got this like in May, um, May or June, somewhere in 
what we can get. The renowned professor, second one of those here in power. Pretty as it's half the five foot kids, including us, as surprising as you are. You did just move to Manville after all. Honestly, I would have thought they would have just taken the room if you didn't use it as a player and give it to them. Okay. Signs an amazing boost of communication technology. You can look all over the world for players who are playing the same game or who are playing at the same time. Then you can play together. Yeah, so I, I got the game, played it. I don't even really remember what my first team was. It was probably some trash. Um, I think the legendary was on it. And I will found it was pretty nice, right? I fell out of the video lots of cool times. It's even more when I get big. Kind of rushed to draw a big dude. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm fair on your shoes. Can't see a pair without playing the OG. Old Jingle used to play the cards. Dash, 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 flash, flash, flash. Press the B button, dash, and flash. Yeah, just press that B button. If Tom comes, I hope I can trust myself with Pokemon. Going on the Pokemon journey really helps me help you be sure you see. Understandable. It's the usual child running around in a circle in the middle of the house. I don't know, it's like super duper weird. I wonder who, I wonder how many cousins are out. Honestly, I expect it to be trash. Uh, the boys absolutely an animal with that rival in the middle of So this is how children tend to run above the tree. Yeah, so I believe... I didn't know what I was saying, but the, the place where I was watching, I believe, was how far comes commentary on it. And, um... So I, I watched it through that. Oh, hey, the shortest route ever. Step foot on this, and here we go. Aqua for a time. So I had, I had got the, uh, I had watched the playthrough, then got the game. I think I took me a bit. I want to say it wasn't April because uh, instead of May, because I finished it late May or early June because I was in fifth grade at the time. Uh, and then I, I finished that game around with, at the end of the school year. So, hey, you bet. Oh, this one, over here. Uh, um, played it a lot, and then eventually lost the cartridge along with a few other games. Like my, my original X cartridge is lost, and I also lost my original. So I lost one of the S cartridge game, my uh, original Pokemon black and white cartridges. Three or four copies of Pokemon Rangers, so I have in fact gotten better. Okay, this is a meeting place today. I'll introduce you. Everyone that is about to visit. Wow. So the description was spot on. So you got this is Terra. You can really care about this. And it's Trevor.
So here we go. So, uh, there, in terms of popular picks, there's really only one here. And I'm not going to move on with one tonight. Because I think, um, my, like, every time I did a casual playthrough of this game, which is, I think, only been, if we're counting X and Y, the same one, it's only really like, like four. Um, casually. I played it in all together around six, six times. Uh, casually, it's usually this pathetic hit. So, uh, I know Froki is a really popular one. And uh, I've grown to like all of the final evolutions and then also objectively. But I personally think that the Star Trail, I love them personally. They're all objectively that they get annihilated by everything that came before and after them, pretty much. Uh, unless it's something like the Johto Stars, but that's not a high bar. Um, so, one thing I'm hoping for is just at the end of this. Hopefully, I'm hoping for a few things when that comes up, but I'll list them after I pick this Pokemon. So we're picking Panic Uh The Fire Fox Pokemon. You can name it, I think, now, right? Yes. Okay. Um, to go with Marvel. I started doing when I started naming them after 
common characters of people who go to see classes or occupations. Um, this is actually I think I'm gonna be boring. We can change this at some point, but I think I'll be boring and be on the for right for right now. Just for right now. Yes. Alright, oh my god, just been killing it. This actually is something that I wish they would have for their games, having the, um, having the, um, the other gender character that you didn't pick to be a character in the game somewhere. If they stop, this is the game, thing before is that uh, the starters in the game I like them all, but they're like I don't think they'd be able to get smoked um is that these starters Starters aren't the college starters, but they were the starters. And that leads into the next thing that if they aren't, that both the college starters and the new starters get right. I feel like no matter what the college starters might get on, is there like the starters? Every starter. 
brother since since Gen 7, Sunday. If there has been a heightened version of the Generations game that they've got. Gen 6 seems like it should have happened. And they did not. Like, I'm, from what I understand, their stats aren't the worst, but they're not that great, especially like having to compare to the other starter heroes. And then their signature moves are okay. So one of them is a multi-hit attack that does 15 or 20 damage. I forget which. But it's still a multi-hit attack, so at, at minimum damage that's like let's go with the highest one. I say 20. At minimum damage that's like 16 power. Like it gets blown out of the water by more than a handful of global water characters. Uh, Delphox is Mystic Fire. Uh, that one's also, I think, like 70, 60, 70, so that gets blown out of the water by things like Flame Thunder. And then Chestnut's move doesn't need an attack move. It's, it's Protect, but it does physical, it does damage to a Pokemon. That has been. Solely for its application, like it's not trying to be a normal attacking move, it's a protect that has the additional bonus of doing damage. So, in that way, I think it's good. But if we're looking at other Pokemon's fifth move, special moves after this, like even if they aren't like fire, wind, water, and grass, they're still like objectively better than um, like spirit, like the Jet Alola starter wins. Value in a contest, especially Prima Marinos, right? Like an attacking move that actually has decent damage and hits every either everything on the other side of the field or everything else on the field, but hitting um, and heals burns. So if you have a Pokemon, in, this is more something for Gen 8, but I know that the Alola starter is better in Gen 8. But like if you have something like uh, Carpool, you can use that to activate a Steam Engine. If you have a Pokemon that's like um, electric grass, it's like four times there's no water and it's burning, you can heal it's burning with that. Uh, Darkest Lariat is in fact Darkest Lariat, and so a spirit channel. <laughs> um, but even if we're looking at, like, there's Gen 8's monotype starting to be. Um, what was it called? Drum beating? I think Ferrilla Boom is really good. Snipe shot is inc incredibly good, especially if it has the if the, uh, the Inteleon has the ability Sniper. And then Cinderace's Power Ball is just busted. Okay? Like the only thing remotely close to a downside is 90 accuracy. But that's not 90 accuracy. And if you have a whole thing like a what was it called? A zoom lens? That might as well not even it's not even an issue. Um, so that that's busted. It's a 120 base power move, so that's and then that's also a Pokemon that has an insanely high physical attack and has the ability of the Barrow. Cinderace got preferential treatment, is all I'm saying, and I'm, I couldn't care less. Uh, that, I love that Pokemon. Uh, oh, so, what do you do with the neighbor kids in that room? Wait one second, of all. What the fuck? Wait one second, is that, is that a Pokemon you have there? You got your own Pokemon? Look at you. I'm not the your Pokemon trainer now, too. Congrats. Huh? A letter from me? It says from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? She has to get those off to me. For that to be the first thing that comes up. I want lovely handwriting. Hmm. So what do we have here? Request. Oh, I see. In fact, Barely impact, and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Fennekin ready for your journey. I think we'll get something up from upstairs. Um, see, I, I do hope. Uh, here you are, Yvette. I impact change your clothes. Uh, when unexpected turn events, it's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a ride horn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Palos. Oh, and don't forget this. Um, you know how to use a tail mat, right? Yes, I do. You're gonna tell me anyway. And that's my girl. Select the tail mat from your bag.
hashtag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what this professor Sigma wants you to see on your trip, but taking your journey with your Pokemon is a really wonderful experience. Yep. See, I, I said all that to say, like, as much as I like to mirror, like, lagging behind the, all of the other starters, pretty much. Again, you could make your own for the Gen 2 starters, but even that, it kind of just depends on what generation we're talking about, even, like, if you're comparing basic Gen 2 starters to Kylo starters, and that's not exactly fair, but they would not win out right but the current ones with updated movesets and counting new forms. They get stopped by... I don't even write one in here. One card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big set of updates. Well, it has no use since you were born, after all. Good luck with it. Hope we're broken, don't worry. You have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. True. The Rhyhorns. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, I'll, I'll just do this. But, yeah, so, like, in ZA, I, I'd hope that the, the color starters would get new Mega Evolution. And if, if uh, they wanted to go a step further, um, they could. step further, they could give them new signatures like they did in Legends Arceus, and now they aren't technically signatures because the Pokemon get them, but the first Pokemon that got them were the Sinnoh Stars. Uh, I did enjoy some of them, well, all of them really, but I did enjoy them, it's just like certain ones, like, uh, uh, I chose a great time to forget what Torterra was called, um, the ground type one. I forgot what it was, but I'm not a fan of recoil moves. Um, I never have, and I never was going to be. But, um, I thought, um, yeah, I, I, I thought that that was a good idea, so I think they should keep, they should keep doing that. Sorry. Go ahead and look at this boy. Vets ID number 40991. Um, what he plays? Quirky. Okay, it's a neutral. Honestly, that's. Starters. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the idea of the current, uh, the current ones I've seen the most. That being Snivy, uh, Square Bunny, and Piplup. Um, I think, especially with Snivy, Snivy needs something bad because its move set is not great. It could have gotten a bit better, but it's still not. Other favorite Pokemon. He'll be the first to tell you that that is trash. With the, with the Pokemon, you may expect them, especially like final evolved Pokemon, to have coverage for stuff that they're weak to. And Superior just has none of it. Um, oh, hey, there's the person who gives us free potions. Um, yeah, like Superior just has none of it. And it's. 
right, I guess, like, and I probably wouldn't be saying be anything as hard on it if Samurai and M4 just didn't have objectively better, like, even same type moves than it does. Uh, but I think part of that was just the generation it was in at the time. Like, Serious bags, great. They all made the ceramic footman. That's where I was putting about the kind of item. Incredibly high tech for a bag. Okay. But yeah. Like, um. Like, I've used a Samurai before. I did use an Emboard before, but that was a really, really long time ago when I first finished. When I first played Pokemon White. It was the last time I really used an Emboard. There's a story behind that, but that'll happen later. But like, those two are... I just get... I get two. So we can have seven instead of five. And it's like... So Samurott's pretty good because he gets actual moves. And then it also got a new form. Bunny and Pitbull, honestly, it's... Alright, let's see what the cost goes. Pidgey. If it does, it'll honestly, it'll probably be the Alolan version. And uh, with that, it kind of just depends, because sometimes they play po both versions of a Pokemon in the game, sometimes they don't. Um, I could see Alolan Ninetales existing there somewhat. Um, but I could also see it just not being there. Unless I believe it's in the Friends Safari. Um, I even come on, I can hold on me. His mom and dad are amazing trainers. His mind knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Talk about my parents if you want, but that doesn't have anything to do with me. I'll show you how to catch one now. So let's we'll care for them. Alright, yeah, so this is a catching story. I don't really need this one, but. Yeah, funnel. Uh, so I, I think that'd be cool, though. Cinderace, 
So let's take like the Hisuian ones for example, right? Let's say there's someone who didn't really like Typhlosion, now they have Hisuian Typhlosion, who is extremely different from the original one. Like, honestly, I would say better in basically every way. The only people that I would get them not liking it are people who just, who wouldn't like the design because they want the older Typhlosion. Or someone that didn't want to go near it just because it was the fire type. And those are like... I think those two aren't exactly a reason to not give it a try, but I, I could kind of see either of them. Um, I would say that that Typhlosion is better than the original one, in basically every one. Um, Experience shares here and it's on, I think, by default. Hold on. No, that isn't. It's something I gotta get somewhere else. Um, but they also they added like a like basic uh, experience share and they added uh, made, made it so that catching Pokemon uh, increases your experience. So I just finished Pokemon Fire. And then we'll just stop. Uh, the same thing with that one time. Exactly. I play it until I have to do a round of the five again. Even if I need it, I usually put it in the last layer until I just go. Up until the end, so my team for that was Vulpix, Pikachu, Eevee, um, Pidgey, Horsey, and Bellsper. Um, and it wasn't until the very end of the game that I, where I had a Kingdra and a Victory Belt where they got hyper broken. But I would say that until that point, a lot of those broken, really all of them, are the best. So they're kind of just there. I didn't really need um, to really grind all that much until like we're on the end game, but that was because all the Pokemon, like there were basically no Pokemon around my level unless I went to the, the Seve Islands. Uh, but that, like even if it was, even if I did need to grind a lot more, I wouldn't say grinding is hard, it's more time consuming and tedious. Which is something that I'm honestly really glad that modern games can do as well. I'm not trying to waste your time. I think that the difficulty of a game should really come from the mechanics of it, which is part of the reason why um, uh, Legends Arceus was so interesting to me. Because that game is one that's a That game you could also do, you could also find in that, but there are things there that reward you for actually playing decent, decently, that help you win battles and give you things that, and help you get things that help your team get stronger inherently, that's stuff that's 
a lot of the older games don't do. And even the newer ones don't really do it, but they're at least they're experimenting with it. The older games were more like really not as intuitive types of things or just more on each level. Alright, here's the first one. So I don't know exactly what my team is, but you just know the game for the video. where I was hoping that, assuming someone watches this, I could get, like, recommendations for Pokemon. Like, this Pokedex, the brand new Pokemon for X and Y is really small. It's, like, 70 I'm like, if that, I think this one actually might be 60 and a little bit 70. Um, two trainers always need a Pokemon item. Let's begin. Um, let's see, who's this? Monster Austin. So it was like great area where Pokemon, where some Pokemon weren't as broken or as trash as they used to be. But a lot of them aren't really in that they have something they can be replaced by. Um, so I like. Gen 3 is weird. Uh, it's part of the reason why I think them doing remakes and re remakes of games is pretty good, like a pretty good idea. Even though a lot of people don't agree with how they executed them. Like, let's go, right? I've seen a lot of people talking about, and especially during the modern time, people talking about the lack of uh, new stuff in it, and the lack of stuff that things like Platinum had, and Fire Red and Leaf Green had for the Let's Go games. But, and this happens with a lot of other franchises too, like I can name Sonic immediately with Sonic Origins. But the thing about this is, like, a lot of new players won't care because those older versions are also are built with older game design and game like older game design and philosophies and just the general atmosphere of game was different when those came out back then so the type of stuff that would have flown with those versions won't fly now so even though they do have more content and you could argue they are better i feel like a lot of people who are playing games currently don't exactly care so long as they can actually enjoy the game that they have 
and that includes not wasting your time with Loki. Um, it's like I can I can see there being a good amount of people that would play Let's Go and Fire Red and Leaf Green and would just enjoy Let's Go more for various reasons. Um, so it's 140. Um, this one's a little bit short because of my with issues. And uh, I did actually, so just before I leave, I did want to say I was planning on doing this Monday. And then I pushed it back because the Nintendo Direct was on Tuesday. And I was like, okay, well, I'll, yeah, I'll do this Tuesday so that we have something to talk about. And then uh, my brother and sister wanted to play Minecraft on Tuesday night, so I didn't do that. So I had stuff I wanted to talk about from that. But I guess that'll be the next one. Now, this one, because of the issues and how it is, how short the screen is, I might do another one later today, so I don't know tomorrow. Uh, maybe. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, this is the first, um, this was the first, uh, stream. Next stream, we'll be going in the Santa Cruz Forest. And hopefully by then, there will be, like, I'll have some idea of what to put on the team. I do know there's a Pikachu in here, but I'm going to be honest, the Lil and Wretch will probably be the only reason I use a Pikachu other than it's a base state. And I'm not taking a base state Pikachu to the end of this game. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll just wait and see. I'll also have to do my research on uh, the area that's kind of bit since that I can do what this, this stuff is happening right here. So yeah, that'll be it. I'll cut this, um, the first part of the stream down. If I don't see you this week, I'll see you sometime next week. Uh, I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week sounds about right.